everybody. It's Sunday of uh, week seven and we're up to 19 kilometre long runs. We did uh, 19 yesterday, made up of a 5k park run and 14k uh, running round the lanes to the southwest of St Andrews, um, which was uh, quite good, apart from the um, very last bit. If you look at that video, you'll see it was a killer hill um, just as we got back to the finish. And that was unexpected. Anyway, talking of hills, um, we're going up hill today. Uh, we're going up the east, the west Lomond, rather. The east Lomond and the west Lomond are the two Falkland hills. Um, so it's 6.3 each way, so 12 and a half. So 12 and a half, and we've done six and a half with the transition group, so that gives us our 19 kilometres. Um, so we kind of meander gradually uphill, um, until we come up onto the ridge, that's probably about two and a half k, something like that. Yeah. You know, if you run along the ridge, and then you've got a, a steep ascent up to the the summit of the West Lomond. Um, yeah, so it's uh, it's tough. It's uphill all the way. Even when you're on the ridge, it's uphill uh, running along that ridge. Um, yesterday we had a bit of a problem with hydration, so I'll carry a, a bottle of water with me. This time I've made sure I've had a couple of drinks um, of water uh, in between my, my stints today. Um, so hopefully we shouldn't have that problem. I'm also going to put my hat on because uh, it's sunny and it's pretty warm in the sun. Right, so here we go. Let's head off. Right, so here we go. Um, so this is six and a half K roughly in each direction. But uh, it's seriously uphill for quite a lot of it, and uh, the bits on on seriously uphill are long, gradual climbs. So this is the track that we run up and we run behind the waterfall. Now we head away in that direction, back up the hill and through the trees.
that's only two and a half K we've done and it's nearly 26 minutes already so uh, you can imagine the, the climb that we went up there that was really quite severe however all part of the great thing that we call fun ok so now we're heading off to the east, the west Lomond rather that one behind me is the east Lomond uh, so two and a half miles is what about 4k which is just what we kind of thought ok so this kind of undulates but uh, definitely undulates more uphill than downhill but then we get the benefit when we come back the way ok here we go then It's an awful lot colder up here than uh, the trails we had this morning. The last thing you want to do is get caught up here on your own. It's a lesson we've learned that even when it's hot down in the how you still need to have warm gear at least in the backpack Jogging the bits that we can and walking the bits that we have to. kilometers in about nine and a half for that last kilometer and uh, 51 and a half for all six so we just got to get up to the summit now As I was getting to the summit I was 59 minutes something and I thought right let's see if we can make it in under the hour and look what I've done uh, time 59 59.8 uh, so 0.2 of a second we did it as I was coming up there I was thinking to myself 10 minute k's that would, that would be good because um, that's really tough so 10 minute k's would have been another 7 minutes so that's 9 minute k's that I've done 9 minutes, that's pretty good for me and there's time down there so you can see how far we've come up and uh, we've got Glen Lothis over here Kirkcaldy Edinburgh is across that way behind that hill over the other side of the fourth so you can see the, the hills at the back of Edinburgh then over this way we've got 
got Loch Leven and uh, Stirling over in the distance and uh, swing round and we've got Perth and you can't see it on the the picture but over there you can uh, see the foothills of the highlands so I think uh, it's really windy here it's uh, the wind chill is bound to be a lot more than I think it is so I think it's time to get off the hill so six and a half K up six and a half K back here we go should be a lot easier and a lot quicker Right, one, two, three, go! been threatening to happen all the way at the top and all the way back down uh, running into the wind and I guess the wind catching under the peak of the hat back at uh, Craigmead Car Park where we turn to head back down towards Falkland um, that just turned 10k and uh, uh, average pace 8 minutes a kilometre which isn't bad the overall time when my watch comes round to it is an hour and 20 so an hour and twenty to do ten k. Oh, considering that terrain, that's pretty blinking good. I think. Um, I was a bit uh, disappointed at having to walk so much on the way up, but uh, an hour and twenty for a ten k like that, that's pretty damn good. Right, okay. So ten, about another three k to go. Um, half a K down to the car park then two and a half K uh, steepish downhill and back through the woods and back to the cricket club right here we go then oh god I'm going to be all stiff now having stopped for a wee while
quite filthy. Surprisingly, I was uh, 6 minutes 24, so we're now an hour and 33 for the full 12k. I guess it must be that coming down the hill, instead of just letting yourself go, you know, this is uh, pretty steep and technical stuff, so you can't really let yourself go. You've got to kind of hold yourself back a bit and watch what you're doing, at least I do. So, uh, I guess that's slowing you down. You're putting the brakes on all the time. But then when it levels out, it's back up to pace. Coming up for 13k, 30, sorry, 6 minutes 22, and overall time a minute 39 and a half. Right, I think we'll slow down. Right, so that was um, 13k uh, up to the top of the West Lomond. Um, so it was a total of about 140 metres um, climb, um, but really concentrated in two parts, as you would see. And the two parts were separated by a run along the ridge, which was a, a gradual climb with undulations. But it was <laughs> still going up the way and it was still quite tough. Um, so I did a uh, jog walk most of the way, uh, getting absolutely to the top of the, the, the West Lomond, the East, West Lomond, West Lomond. Um, I had forgotten just how steep that was, it was hard just to keep walking. However, we got to the top in under an hour, um, but that was never, never a target, but uh, it just happened to be, so that was good. Um, run back down um, was <coughs> uh, about 40 minutes, I think. Um, yeah, so quite a big difference. Coming down, um, you know, you expect to be able to go a lot quicker, but you know, because it's steep, you have to kind of break all the time and watch your footing and be careful of what you're doing. So you can't just kind of go at double your speed just because you're going at half the speed when you're going up the way. Uh, lessons to learn. Um, well, it was a lot colder up there, um, so definitely need to take an extra layer, put it in the bag, just in case uh, I need it. Um, so I didn't need it today, as it turned out. Um, quite strong wind as well, that worked against me going up, so that would uh, add to the, the time going up. Um, didn't need a drink, 
Um, I was a little bit thirsty at maybe about two and a half, three k mark, um, but that, that was fine. The, the sun went away then, and uh, so as long as the sun wasn't out, then I, I was perfectly fine. Um, I've had about half a litre um, after I got back. So. Um, Pain-wise, hamstring's been okay. Um, my left heel was getting a bit sore, so I guess that you know that's uh, running on your your toes. Uh, on the steep ascents, um, so I think that's probably stretching the plantar fascia, so we'll need to do some exercises on that. Um, otherwise, uh, remarkably well. I'm, I'm still not very good at hills. I'm, I'm good at hills if they're not prolonged, so I think maybe we need to do more hill work, and by doing the hill work that will strengthen uh, my legs and help with breathing and all that kind of stuff, which in turn will your know, payback when I'm running on the flat. Good, okay, so as always, I've talked far too much. But that's it. Uh, next outing is Tuesday, the Leaving Las Vegas training session. Don't know what's happening, but uh, whatever it is, it'll be fun. Okay, so see you then.